Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. It's been a while. Hopefully I'm back to recording regularly. Uh, time is, isn't really something I normally have in abundance. So bear with me there. But I'm back here to give you this tool that normally you would find on my website here. Uh, yeah, where is that? link resources yeah right there so this html page creator so i got in uh, a lot of requests for a local version of this so this is what i'm doing now i'm going to give you the local version link in the description you can download the zip file and once you get that zip file it should uh, bring you to a folder like this actually let me go to the windows version here uh huh so in my folder here, you have a zip folder like this one. It says Quick Light. So extract this folder inside your htdocs folder. That way you have a path like htdocs and then Quick Light. So in order to have this htdocs folder, you need to have ZAMP installed. Something like this. So download ZAMP and install it. And make sure Apache and MySQL is running by opening its control panel and clicking these two buttons start now you may be using a different server that's fine for as long as you have a database mysql and apache running you should be good so there's a folder here htdocs and then quick light uh, keep it like that and then there's a database file here so this file you have to import in your mysql just make sure that you name the database as quickcodeui underscore db. Exactly this name here, minus the s.sql, of course. So that's what you should name it. And then once you do that, you import that uh, database file uh, by clicking uh, in your PHP my admin by clicking import here, and then you import. Mm -hmm. So uh, let me go back to the database. Yes, these are the tables in here and then there's the users table. So you can edit this stuff as you wish. This is entirely owned by you now. So you can do whatever you want, you know, break stuff. Just keep the original uh, zip folder. That way you can always get back to normal. Just try and edit stuff and play around with stuff, you know. Don't be scared to break things. This is how you learn to code. So there's an index folder here in the main folder here there's an index file this is the main file here that runs everything so everything runs inside a frame uh oh my goodness this is that's <laughs> so much let me go down here for a second i'm trying to find the the iframe itself but apparently it's so deep in there anyway this right runs inside an iframe so uh, there's the includes folder that has the HTML and then inside assets and then JS this is the main JavaScript that runs everything like this these actions .js. Uh, you can go through all this animator .js. this is uh, what animates stuff there's charts here there's data there's a input output IO so this is how I wrote the code in here. So you can go through this and just uh, learn one or two things from in here. And then, so if we go back to this, so mostly this runs on JavaScript and then there's the API file. Sorry, let me go back here. There's the inside public folder here. There's the API.php. This is what loads stuff. When you click to load something, this is the file that loads things and then it exports stuff. This is where the main PHP is. But in the index, this is mostly JavaScript in here because it has to be like real time response. So I use JavaScript there, of course. You can do quite a lot with JavaScript and PHP, right? People underestimate uh, these technologies, but they're very powerful. So like in here, I can uh, create you user interfaces very quickly uh, using this so you see I load that 
if I want to change that image I just double click so there's a bunch of images here and folders that I can choose from and then I can easily just replace that image as easily as that this is very handy a tool you can double click on any text and then you can just start typing and stuff you know just to edit the text click on an icon and double click on it oh that doesn't work does it so you have to go to the properties panel and uh, where it's images there's an icon and then you can just replace that icon with some other icon there very very cool here you can just double click to edit that text and that's it look at that so this really makes work easier so of course we're going to go through all this stuff here and by the way um, in other videos that is you can click open project to check out what other projects are here I think these are some of the projects I was testing out when creating this thing now if you don't see these guys you have to log in here so just go to file and say uh, log in so since I'm logged in this is asking me to log out you are successfully logged out okay now stay on the page so I can now click login or oh, apparently I can't so let me refresh the page so of course uh, this software isn't perfect it's, a, it's got a lot of bugs because I really didn't finish everything that I wanted to do with this software due to time constraints but it's still very usable as it is so you can log in with email at email.com and then password is just password so that should allow you to see the content uh, of the when you click file open now of course the login details are in the database so you can just go to the database edit stuff from there directly if you want to that's allowed you can really edit everything you want from this thing yeah so also it's responsive uh, you can change the screen size here but keep in mind that the responsiveness is desktop first so what that means is whatever uh, CSS you put in the desktop will work for everything else but it doesn't work the other way around if I put some CSS on a mobile view I will not see that when I go to the desktop view so it takes uh, the desktop view de text priority and then here you can double click on the name to edit the profile but I don't think this works very well yet I think instead of editing it always just adds a new record which is completely flawed so you can check out that code if you want and fix it but keep in mind I will be advancing this and fixing all the bugs over time so with every project we do and I've added new stuff I'm going to give you a download link to download the latest version so that at least some of the bugs are fixed as we go on anywho you can add stuff here images uh, ready-made stuff alerts etc etc and so on so have fun with this do what you can PHP is very powerful we com combined with JavaScript a lot of people think these are outdated technologies but they aren't because you can make so much uh, you can really make so much stuff so I don't know if I've already mentioned that I'll be using my github now to upload stuff because I can't um, I'm losing this website very soon this is why I've decided to give this away so you won't be able to access stuff here so if there are any downloads you want to get from this site that's freephptutorials.com you can download them now because this won't be available for much longer uh, I'm unable to pay for it the hosting and stuff because I, I don't really get that much from uh, uh, the website or patreon and stuff to be able to do that so just download what you can and leave the rest and grab this the link is in the description that will be on the, my github so no worries about losing that so that's okay so very powerful technology uh, JavaScript and PHP so much you can do I'll give you an, another example of some application that I made this is some app that I created using JavaScript and PHP very crude stuff but this is actually a video editor <laughs> that I created I whipped up together uh, you can actually edit stuff here 
<laughs> with this you open the project file and uh, look at that awesomeness look at that <laughs> so much you can do with PHP and JavaScript so don't let anyone tell you this is outdated technology it isn't this is very powerful stuff you know make YouTube videos some using people avoid budget, budget airlines. airlines others avoid airlines altogether today we're counting down the top yeah look at that so that's all created using my very own uh, video editor using PHP and, and JavaScript anywho guys so go through all the code that is in here maybe you may learn something about coding in JavaScript something you may not have known because sometimes it's good it may be better to learn like this where you actually see somebody else's code and if you have any questions about this code or what does what uh, just leave it in the comments guys now I'll, I'll get to it eventually and answer your questions all right guys so have fun with this hope uh, hopefully it will help somebody and I'll see you in another video